Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use the Material Reducer in Minecraft Education Edition. Okay, so as part of the whole chemistry kit that comes in Minecraft Education Edition, we get a Material Reducer. So let's go grab it first to see what it looks like. So I'm going to hit E to open up my inventory and then I'm going to start writing material. And there it is. I'm gonna pick that up and pop it in my hot bar. Now, making sure I have it selected, so I'm gonna press one on my keyboard because it's the first one in my hot bar. I'm going to right click and there it is. So let's just have a look at it first. I'm gonna open it up. There it is. And essentially what we have here is an inventory. So I've picked up some seeds here at some point. Okay, and then an empty hot bar. So what I want to do is I want to use the material reducer to see what what items in the inventory are or in yeah, you know inventory basically are made up of. So let's go out of that. And what I might do is I'm going to go E and I'm going to backspace and I'm going to look through my list here. Okay, and I might be interested, I don't know, let's think of something here that's going to be logical. So maybe some of this oak log, I'm going to place it here and I'm going to open up my material reducer. What I do is I pick it up and then I just right click at the very top. And then this is what happens is that I know that I have an oak log and it's telling me that it's made up of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. And it actually tells me how many oxygen particles, how many hydrogen, and how many carbon of each. And I can go through and do that for each one of them. Now there's different ways that you can approach this activity. And one way that I like to do it is to think about, especially as an introductory, the type of things that I want them to find out. So I'm gonna give you a little example here. So here in a OneNote, I've created an activity for students to do, to get used to using the material reducer. And I have specifically created a list of items for them that I want them to find out. So let's take sugar, for example, here. So what they're going to do is they're gonna to go to Minecraft. They're gonna hit E, we're gonna write in sugar. There it is there. I'm gonna pop it in my hot bar, go to my material reducer, place it at the top, and I can see that sugar is made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Now, depending how they wanna set their screen up, I might go like this. Fairly good eyesight. So I know it's made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Okay, I'm gonna place them in if I want those numbers specifically there. So if I can see that there's six, so I might get them to write six. You might have a very particular way that you want this written. I'm just showing this as a quick example. And six there like that. Okay, and then we're kind of slowly going through each one and learning it. And you might even encourage them. You might down the bottom here, because this is just a table is I might, you know, open this up for them to choose a few extras. Now, one thing I will show you, and it's kind of, it's in a lot of the support documents, is that if you ever do do that with students, is that obviously Minecraft is going to be made up of some of its own elements. So if I was to just take example here, so this one here, another rack, we're gonna pop it in there. I'm just going to use this one as an example and I pop it in. It says that, you know, this item is made up of silicon, oxygen, mercury, and we don't know. Okay, so because it's, it's you know, it's fictional, it's a fictional item inside of the world, it, they kind of just have randomly made it up and, and chucked in a mystery object, which is still to be solved. So do just keep that in mind. Students may choose things that aren't, that aren't actually in the real world, okay? They're in the Minecraft world. And in which case, when that happens, it will throw up one of these little mystery tiles. All right, guys, I hope you have lots of fun with the material reducer in your science classes. We will see you again soon. Cheers.
If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date, don't forget to follow us. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section. Cheers.